Hey guys, it's me, Imani, and I'm here to give my review or overall opinion on a conditioner I've been trying a few times, and it is the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Restorative Conditioner. And this is the bottle here, as you can see, and it says uh, it has sea kelp and argan oil in it, and it's for dry, damaged hair. It says heal, grow, strengthen. And then on the side of it, it just has like all the stuff that it does not have that, you know, things you shouldn't have like in your shampoos or conditioners. And somewhere on here, I can't even find it now. Oh, right here it says that it's a leave-in or a rinse-out conditioner and that it detangles, moisturizes, repairs, and restores lifeless damaged hair. So, my overall opinion on this was... It wasn't that great, to be honest, uh, for my hair anyway, and I just wasn't, I'm, I just wasn't a fan of it. And as you can see, I use quite a bit of it. Like I don't know, it like, it's like down to here. So I've used a bit of it before I made an opinion. I always try to give things second, third chances before I like make a final opinion. You know, my like my final decision on it, and I wasn't really feeling it. So, yeah, just wasn't having it. So, let me just kind of start from the beginning. I bought it from Target, I think. Yeah, I bought it from Target for like $9 because I needed some conditioner really bad. And I, wa I always wanted to try something new. I don't want to be stuck in the same, like with the same stuff and never experience different things for my hair. I want to try different things so I know what's great for my hair, you know, and whether it's something that I haven't tried yet or I have already, um, you know, I just want to make sure that I know what's out there. So I bought a new conditioner, yeah, it was like $9 from Target and I thought that was a pretty good price because, you know, most of the other conditioners were like 8 or $9 and I've heard of this brand before, the Shea Moistures. So, I was excited to give it a try. I've used it, like I said, I've used it quite a bit because uh, it's like halfway gone already. I've used it, I want to say like five or six times as a co-wash only. I don't use it with, you know, when I'm shampooing or anything. I use it as a co-wash and I just wasn't a fan of like the texture of it. Like, I love heavy conditioners even though the last conditioner I had as some of you may know, was the Ren Pure, which was very thin, which was so confusing how much I loved it because I like heavy conditioners, like heavy, like thick textures. Uh, but some, like the Ren Pure, was able to spread easily, whereas this is not heavy as well, but it doesn't spread very easily through my hair, which was a big kind of like turn off. And it doesn't make my hair feel as soft as the Ren Pure did. And, like, I just felt like it wasn't doing that much to my hair. Like, I felt like my hair wasn't taking it in, I guess, or, you know, whatever. Like, taking the moisture in from the conditioner. Like, after I, like, wash my hair, like, I washed this out of my hair, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't feel the same. It just, it's not like my hair feels rough or anything after. It just doesn't feel right, and I find myself using more, like, detangling like leave-in conditioners after than I did when I was using the Ren Pure. Uh, when I was using the Ren Pure, you know, I didn't have to use so much leave-in and detangling because it like was really smoothing out my hair and de like kind of like de helping helping me finger detangle in, in the shower. Whereas this, it's really hard for me to kind of like finger detangle. I don't know. It's just my hair doesn't feel as soft. It's, it's not so easy. To finger, for, to finger detangle my hair um, in the shower when I was co-washing with this. And I don't know, I just I just wasn't a fan at all. And I tried, I really tried to give it a chance. Um, as you can see, like, I, it's not like I only used it once or twice. I was like, oh, I don't like it. I really try to give products a chance. Um, so what I did do is I bought a new conditioner. And I don't like to waste things. So I decided to use it as a leave-in, and I would use it on, as a leave-in um, on dry hair, on my dry hair, like in the mornings before I detangle it, well, not detangle it, but like kind of poof my hair up a little bit, 
and I like it a lot better like that. I don't know something about it. It just it makes it it makes the poofing process a little easier for me. And the smell it smells really really good. So to put that in your hair before you start poofing it up, it just like adds like a little like a nice little scent to your hair. So I like it as a leave-in, um, as a regular conditioner. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it, but of course this is my hair. I have like 4B, maybe 4C, like 4B, 4C hair. So I don't know if anybody else with my type of hair like this stuff, but I wasn't a fan. And I don't think I will buy it again unless I'm looking for a nice little leave-in uh, to use. Or something, you know, just to put on my dry hair before I start poofing it up in the mornings or something like that so what are you gonna do I mean I wouldn't recommend it but I'm sure there are plenty of other people here on YouTube who love the stuff there are plenty of my other friends who love the stuff and I mean to each his own I my hair doesn't like it that doesn't mean your hair wouldn't like it I just wanted to give my opinion on how I felt about it um, yeah what are you gonna do I'll do another review on the conditioner that I have now. I honestly don't even remember what the name is. I think it's like organic something. It's like tea treatment something. I don't know. I really like that one though. But I'll give a review on it after I've used it a few times, of course, as usual. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of quick. Um, and if you have any questions, just comment below. If not, I'll see you guys for my next video. Bye.